like zero degrees. I'm out the cage, gotta let out the beast. Revolutionary guy, let out the streets. Locked in the cage, I'ma let out the let out the let out the wake up, get out the sheets. We came for one more, forget my peace. Don't take the west side, take out the east. I'ma put him in the cage, never let out the spot. Uh, I don't Quick, the Welcome back to our channel, and this is part two of our trip to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. If you haven't seen a part one, you should definitely check that out first. So, this is the concluding part of that. So, today we are planning a boat cruise. Um, we booked a boat cruise through a website before we landed, so it's supposed to be a six hour boat cruise. And yeah, we're about to get on the boat now. And Yes, you come along. Okay. So the boat cruise package was, I mean, it includes snorkeling. So it's supposed to be a six-hour boat cruise plus plus snorkeling. Guys, we're getting on one of these soon. Bienvenidos. Thank you. Gracias. snorkeling and um, they're also on the island I didn't want to get wet but this is the view guys it's so beautiful right so 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 beautiful I mean look at that this is our first stop um, we've been on the boat for about three hours. We have about three more hours to go. So that is the island over there. So Olumide and Wale took off from here and swam all the way to the island. So the boat requires that. Um, so if you need to get on the island, you actually need to swim. The boat cannot go past this point. So yeah. And of course, if you can't really swim, if you have just basic knowledge, there's a rope there that can guide you. you just need to follow that rope all the way there and yeah this is another boat so people are just paddling yeah that's the island i know they complain that the water is very salty so yeah it looks really pretty sadly i can't go in hey there Um, but after this, I think we're going to have lunch on the boat because um, we got here um, at about 8.30. Well, we started the, the cruise at about 8.30 and now it's about past 11-ish. So, yeah, it's almost time for lunch. We'll have lunch here and then um, we should head back to the hotel. And... Um, the next activity for us today would be the parasailing so we're supposed to do that yesterday but 
something happened with the wind so later this evening we're going to be parasailing i'm very excited about that i'm going to be parasailing definitely so i'll see you guys up in the sky so six hours later and lots of photos later we are still at sea and about to round up our boat course if you guys want to take a look at the photos, please make sure to check out our Instagram channel at the underscore November couple. And yeah, we got fed at sea. The food was a bit meh for me, but yeah, it's better than nothing. Uh, one of my guys is going to be in the pier holding a little container for any kind of like okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. See you for your See you next time. Thank okay? you. Get ready, guys. That is the end of our boat course. So moving on to the next event. We decided to take a tour of downtown Puerto Vallarta. We had heard about this sign, this PBR sign. So we came downtown to come and take a photo. Come and take photos of this sign. Once again, if you want to see photos, check out our Instagram channel. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. So we're just exploring town and doing tall things. Video in Malekon. Malekon. Malekon from Tobayata. So we got some photos taken by a professional photographer where we were at sea. And she gave us a thumb drive to you know, look at the photos. So we thought we could find like an adapter that we can use to connect the flash drive to our phone so we can get access to you know, our photos. So we're exploring down now, asking around to see if we can get this stuff. Yeah. Yeah, we could do that. One more. That's the sound of generator. That was really a good way for us to explore. So we are currently on the streets of Puerto Vallarta. Yeah. We are looking for a USB cable just to transfer some of our photos from um, a USB stick onto our phones. We had a photographer join us for the boat cruise, so she took some really sick photos. <laughs> Fox everywhere. <laughs> Everybody loves tourists. Because I'm guessing stories spend the most. Spend <laughs> your so, money. Yes, so this is on our way to the mini computer village of Puerto Vallarta. Stay tuned. Why do you always have to? Why does Paul Wale always have to look for something on every trip we are on? Because the last trip he was looking for tacos. Now we're looking for USB cable. I told Wale to ask him. The guy was saying that they normally take tomorrow off. So that the only other option is Tuesday. Oh. So that means if you can't do it today, that's why they're asking for directions. I don't know what language you're speaking. Our, our parasailing plants are in the mud right now. Yes. Because of weather, there was a bit of drizzling, so the guy got scared. I was like, oh, we have to cancel because rain is falling. The first day it was the, the wind, the wind was in the wrong direction. The second day it was rain. Second day it was rain. So you know, parasailing is like tomorrow, tomorrow is tomorrow. Tomorrow it don't work. Is so. it a day out? Yeah. Looking sketchy. No, you don't want a drink. 13 minutes, it's not long. It's not that hot right now. I mean, but we can eat cool in So unfortunately, we just spoke to our parasailing guy and he said it's not going to work. So basically, we would have to schedule that. We're really looking forward to that one. Bye. Um, because of the weather, the rain, wind, blah, blah, blah. So we are now just walking the streets of Puerto Vallarta looking for tourism things to do, tourist things to do. Now, Looking for the romantic zone. zone this is it, oh yeah. Navigator. Romantica. Alpha. Navigator. We're Alpha. going to uh, uh, Papillo and Basilio Street. It's about 8 minute walk. 800 meters. Okay. 
So we are walking eight minutes looking for the romantic zone. I'm looking for romantic zone because there's a lot of colorful things that I want to start them <laughs> for the gram. Yeah. So here we go. So make sure you follow us on IG so that you can check out those photos. Okay? Yep. This is giving. This is giving. Check your show vibes. And we ask somebody for direction. Looks like the person don't lost us. So here we are. In Tell your show, Bayata. Asking another person for direction. Oh, looks like she knows. Oh, next block. Perfect. So now we are leaving Tejosh. We are leaving Tejosh. We may have found the right direction. So we are heading there now. According to our next block. So here we go. Next block. Let's record. This should be the block we are coming on. Who this be it? Drum roll, please. Drum roll. Ah, ah, ah. Nobody has block with this. Okay, the next next block. Oh, that's it. So we're going to the next. Oh, that's it. So the story about this place, guys. We saw this place on Instagram. We realized it was a part of Ayata, and then just googled it and we said, "Okay, let us kind of have to find this place." So it's actually an hotel, but it looks absolutely gorgeous. So we, of course, posed and took a lot of photos here and then went inside to the restaurant. I'll talk more about the restaurant in a bit. So now about the restaurant. First of all, it's absolutely gorgeous. You know, the restaurant is Mikwe Lito restaurant. If you are ever in Puerto Vallarta, you have to absolutely eat at Mi Pueblito restaurant. The food is absolutely beautiful. Your taste buds will love you. It's, it's, this is definitely a restaurant to come back to it. So yes, this is very highly recommended. So of course we had to wait for our food, we had some archers to start, advisors, got some margarita. Can I have that as well? That one is a banana mama. I'm gonna get strawberry. Yes, I want this. Do you want? Yes. Thank you. Cheers guys. Okay. Thank you. Yep. So I had some whips while I had some T bone and Tosin also had some love. Just so good that Tosin had seconds. The strawberry margarita you know, was also very good. Remember the other strawberry margarita I had that I said was the best one ever? This one is a close second. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to watch the part one video to follow along with the story. A satisfied customer. We want to yield them. Take this one. What did you have? You had lamb twice. Lamb twice. Oh, you have lamb once. So you have lamb once. And a wonderful tibon. And a wonderful tibon. So are you still working? <laughs> We're heading back to the hotel. Of course, we took an Uber. Uber was really cheap, like relatively cheap. And coming from the US and Canada, to the maximum we spent on Uber was about six dollars. So we're getting ready for check out and fly tomorrow. So we get to you know, use that arrive can app. No, not to get our vaccination record, get our actual vaccine results. Part of the vaccine, some vaccine things too. Yeah, for checking. Yeah, we need to do that vaccine thing. What's up guys? Um, we just got back to the hotel 
from exploring downtown. As soon as we came in, we got we met a letter in our room saying that um, we need to change rooms. That they need to move us to another room, and that's because um, they need to do some sort of maintenance. So they moved us, and we're in a new room now. So I'm just going to do a quick talk with you guys. It's slightly different from the old one, and it's a lot better because of the view. It's late now, it's about, what was the time? 8 p.m. 8 p.m. So I'd rather wait till tomorrow when it's bright and early so that you guys can, you know, get a proper view of the room. No, actually, I'm going to wait till tomorrow so you guys can get, you know, a good look at the view. But I'm just going to do a quick tour of the room. So, um, let me flip the camera. Basically the same setup as the old one. So once you come in, you have this small area with the refrigerator. And then the bathroom. Let me switch on the light. Okay, there you go. And the bathroom and the toilet. And yeah, it's not too different from the last one. And this is the bedroom and the TV and this mini dining area and we have the sofa here and of course the center table so yeah um, like I said I'll just wait till tomorrow the view is really really nice guys really nice for some reason I actually I'm happy that we moved, but yeah, I will definitely give you guys a tour tomorrow, okay? Morning guys, so it's our last day here. Um, I promised to show you guys the view this morning, so I'm just going to do that real quick because I'm rushing to go have breakfast and we are going to be spending the rest of today, a few hours we have left in the pool. So let me show you guys what it looks like. That's the pool over there, so that's where we're going to be spending the rest of today. Um, our checkout is by 2. It's actually, it was supposed to be for 12, but we decided to extend it because our flight is by 3 o'clock. So we said, you know, let's check out by 2 and then we'll have more time to spend here. But yeah, this is it, guys. This is the hotel and one last day here so yeah we're going to have breakfast now so i'll see you guys when we get downstairs okay so at this point knowing as this was our last day in the resort we just wanted to chill and just hang out and have fun at the pool and do a couple of videos of course after grabbing breakfast go to the pool chill go back to the room, get dressed, and then head to the airport. So this is just us chilling, relaxing, right? and there's a bar by the pool, right? so that's also very cool. Once again guys, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, get, click the notification bell so you know when we drop a new video and also follow us on Instagram at the underscore November Cup. We'll be waiting for you there.
updates we're at the airport we already checked in and we got our boarding passes um the flight got delayed a bit for about i think 30 minutes or so but, um but yeah we are just waiting by the gate and then time from now they should call us but yeah i'll see you guys when we get to call them. okay So when you land in cargo, this is the new system to like get you to the country. You just scan your PR card or your passport if you have a current passport. And then they have this thing where you randomly select people to get tested for COVID-19. But we didn't have any of that, so we're just able to get into our Uber and Edo. like this but yeah please subscribe okay. like the video if you enjoyed it and leave a comment down below and we'll see you in the next video okay, bye